I love Ponami like this. This piece was a, a little cobble that I got from Millsy's house. He's got this um, this garden of stone at the front of his or the side of his place um, with pieces which you know don't really look like much on the outside. Um, kind of his second grade quality stuff, um, and I really like these ones because they're like a um, bit of a lucky dip. You never know what you're going to get when you cut into it. So I was really stoked when I started cutting into this one. I started slicing it up. It started revealing this beautiful kokopu uh, sort of patterning. So I got four pretty good slices out of it. You can see the incredible intricate patterning and colours that have come through in this. Kokopu is um, the ponami that's named after the native trout. Um, the patterning on the skin of the trout is, is you know, real indicative and, and similar to, to this sort of thing. Um, it's not a super common or well-known ponamu. This is really hard, this stuff. It's going to make some beautiful taonga. This piece, I've made one piece already, this piece here. This was sitting right on top of this, on the end. And so it's got like a, a bit of a niho, almost like a guitar pick sort of shape how it's turned out. Um, gorgeous stone, gorgeous colouring. Nice pale green. Um, yeah, so super stoked with um, how they actually came out. I really, it always blows me away when you look at the outside of what a piece looks like um, compared to what it can end up like on the inside. It's totally different. Gorgeous stuff.